Have you ever wished that there was a master opacity slider so all of your adjustments in camera raw could be adjusted at the same time? Well, guess what there is, and I'm gonna show you exactly where it's hiding. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And today I'm in beautiful Hawaii, um, but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I've got a tutorial coming to you direct from paradise. So here's a photograph that I shot last night right here at Waikiki Beach. Now I shot this on my DJI Mavic 2 Pro and I haven't made any adjustments yet except for merging this into a panorama. So if you're in Lightroom or if you're opening it up, you want to have it as a smart object. If your image is not a smart object, just double click right here on the name and then go up to convert to smart object and you should be good. And you'll see that little icon saying it's a smart object. Now we're going to go in and make our adjustments. So we're going to choose filter and we're going to go down to camera raw filter. Okay, so here we are in camera raw. I'm going to make my adjustments. So why don't we just push it up this way a little bit. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. I'm going to cover all my highlights and I'm going to open up all my shadows, even though that seems a little much. That's okay. Let's bring the exposure down. So I'm going to push this a little bit further than I normally would. Okay, so what I've done here is I've made my adjustments and obviously I've gone too far with this and now I'm just going to click OK. Okay, so where is that opacity slider? Well, here's the thing. Because we created a smart object, any filter used with the smart object becomes a smart filter. And we can see we did camera raw. So if we double click on the camera raw, this is where all our adjustments are. So here's our opacity slider. Take it all the way to the left, unprocessed, all the way to the right fully processed and now we can dial it in exactly how we want it. So if we want a little bit more of the processed version, we can take it to about there. It looks really nice. And also you've even got hidden blend modes here that you could use if you wanted. And now we're just going to click OK to apply it. Now here's a beautiful thing about this because it's non-destructive at any time I can double click in here and it'll open back up again and we can change our mind and you can readjust it anytime you like. All right, guys, I got a question for you. Did you know about this tip before or did you think of it? Let me know in the comments underneath. Also, do you like to travel? If you do, where's your favorite place to go? Drop a comment and let us know. And by the way, if you like these kind of tutorials, hit the subscribe button right now. Get a new tutorial from me every single week. And don't forget that little notification bell and then you'll know when I upload a tutorial. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And next week, of course, I'll be back in the studio for our regular program. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you at the cafe. 